Tim Tatum. of the Commission. My name is Jim Tatum, J-I-M-T-A-T-U-M. I live at 914 Southwest Riverland Court, and I am a historian for our Santa Fe River Incorporated for Hawaii. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, voice my opinion tonight. And my opinion is that this pipeline about to be authorized and realized is not necessary, is not safe, and is not wanted. The pipeline is not necessary because the current pipes one of which is southeast of my header system was just completed five years ago, and these are not running near the capacity. Electricity demand peaked in 2007 had, and has declined since then. Logic would dictate that this pipe is one of needed destined not to fulfill the need for power to South Florida, but to carry gas to Florida to export on the world market. The USA has a surplus of oil and gas at this time, and the infrastructure and permits are in order for this gas to be exported. Sable Trail may, not, may have no plans to export, but they can sell it and buyer can export. The report, uh, the EIS report says, I quote, constructing and operating a Sable Trail project in South Georgia and North Florida could induce sinkhole development, alter spring characteristics, and impact local groundwater flow and quality. Page four. Yes, I agree. It certainly could. If it does, what would Sable Trail infer do then? The pipeline is not safe for people, nor springs, nor rivers, nor wildlife. During the scoping meetings, many people cited specific examples of the poor safety record and huge, huge fines leaving against Spectra. No need to repeat all that. I will just say that Spectra's sloppy maintenance policies and accident record is well documented and proven. The fact that this company has an abysmal accident record is even more meaningful when we consider that local emergency responders headquartered in small towns in rural North Florida are not equipped for a pipeline disaster. So the solution is this. This is FERC's disclaimer in the report. Sable, I quote again, Sable Trail Transmission has prepared this field prevention control and countermeasure plan for a construction project in the United States. The purpose of this plan is to reduce the probability and risk of a potential spill or release of oil or hazardous materials by the company or contractor during construction related activities by providing training to the company and contractor and expediting spill response and cleanup. This is not good enough. Not wanted. The pipeline is not wanted. FERC received over 1,000 letters and 410 form letters from 300 individuals and affected landowners and 199 oral comments at the scoping meetings. The study does not break these down to favorable and unfavorable, but the huge preponderance is unfavorable. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Our third speaker.